Monday mornings before work are meant to just be kind of relaxing, slow little jogs on the treadmill or the cross trainer or whatever. Um, but as much of a fan as I am of the gym, I am also a massive fan of clear blue skies in Scotland. You don't get this very often, so you've got to really appreciate this as much as possible. So over the last three days, I've climbed up Arthur's seat and it looks like today, even though it's frosty, the car is very frosty, as you can see, it's at the moment trying to defrost, uh, I'm gonna have to go climb up the hill again because getting to see the sunset is just so much more better than being in the gym and being a little bit warmer. Uh, so, so that's my little tip. If it is good weather and you don't get good weather normally, you've got to spend the time outside in nature. Oh, Edinburgh really is an amazing city, or so great whenever it is calm weather. You can see how whenever the smoke is coming out of the chimneys, or steam that's coming out of the chimneys, how it's just going straight up. That almost never happens normally. And you hear the birds tweeting, and the ground is all frosty, and again, no one else out here. There's so many people that live in Edinburgh, they just don't see or go up Arthur's seat. Granted, that's probably me actually, but it's such a great place to have, or a great thing to have, that I know, I know somebody that's been in Edinburgh for 10 years and hasn't been up to the top of it yet. So, uh, this is why I keep doing it. And like, just even, even from an easy walk, when you get views looking down like that, and all you hear is the birds, Oh, and my goodness, what a worthy thing to do this morning. Uh, up to the top there, just seeing the sunrise, and it's just so glorious whenever the sun just starts to hit all the stones and give the shadows and give it a warmth, and you can feel the heat radiating from it. So much better than being in the gym and watching TV. But however, in Scotland, this doesn't happen very often, or if it does, it's windy, or it's raining, or it's really just not very nice. So, in winter time, if you're ever in Edinburgh, you can get up here and the sunrise, well just now, what's the time just now, is about 7.30. This is February, the middle of February. Right at the darkest time, it could be about as late as 9 o'clock before the sun rises. Um, and in summertime, oh you've got to be up early. Uh, for summertime it's around about, it can be as early as 4 o'clock in the morning you've got to be up here to get the sunrise. Because the sun barely goes down below the horizon during night time. Um, but yeah, it's a good little... Good little hike, uh, yeah, trying to run it, not not really going to happen. I was watching Warrior uh, the other night with Tom Hardy and the other guy in it, um, and there's a bit where there, there's a training montage, and they've got this, uh, was it the Killer Hill or the Hill of Terror, where they've got to do this like hill sprints up. And I think this is somewhere where we I could make something like that. I doubt I could run all the way to the top of Arthur's seat ever, no matter how fit I get. But... There's definitely somewhere around here which I think could be made into a little training circuit, little training loop. You know, there's a 5k loop all the way around it, uh, which is a simple jog, but I think there's a bit where you can make it a bit more tough man and possible. That, that's what I mean. You can have tough man get to the top, but trying to do that in a sprint or a run, not really going to happen. You want bits with up and down hills. So maybe that's, that's my plan for the next few while, to try and figure out a cool training, tough man training loop around here. So keep your eyes peeled for that.